Hey guys, welcome to the Made It Through Monday live stream. My name is John Stevens Jr. Going to be your entertainer tonight for the next hour. We're going to be singing about eight songs. Welcome to your Made It Through Your Monday. Look at there. This guy, come on. We went live on YouTube. We went live on YouTube. We've got to shut him down. Welcome to the John Stevens Jr. Made It Through Monday live stream. My name is John Stevens Jr. I am at the beautiful... Davis Dale Kitchen, and we're not in the outskirts, and we're not downtown. We're, where are we at in Lebanon? What would you call this? The west side? West. The northwest side. Northwest side. Northwest side. Thank you for that specific location of Lebanon. You are watching the Made It Through Monday live stream show. You can do me a favor right now before we get this thing started. It's check-in and sharing time. We would love for you guys to check in and share. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know. I'm going to tell, tell the folks on... Uh, YouTube where I'm watching from real quick. If I can get in my chat, if I can find it, they gonna let me in. I am. We'll come back to him later. He's wrestling with me. But for the next hour, we've got, we're gonna be doing some Pearl Jam tonight. Did you know that, Renee? Cool. I'm singing Pearl Jam. Got a tribute to Mr. Billy Spidell. Four of my own cover songs. Four of my own original songs. Four cover songs. We're going to be sharing some pics from my wild private party on Saturday night. My shows this past week. Let you know where I'm going to be. Even got a video from Saturday night. It's going to be fun. Want you to stick around for that. Going to be showing um, where I'm going to be performing this upcoming week. And as you watch across the screen, we ask you to check in. Let us know what city and state you're watching from. I really appreciate it. It helps me when you do that. When you guys leave comments. And let me know uh, what's going on. It really helps me with Facebook. It gets the video out there. So if you will check in, if you will share and say hi, we appreciate that. And those names that are scrolling the past on the bottom there, Julie scraped those from last week's chat. Those of you that share, Julie found you and your name is going across there on the bottom of the screen. So thank you to all the shares out there. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. I got a song for Christy Weathington. Christy Todd Weathington last night. I saw, I got it backwards. Her last name, Christy Weathington Todd. You girls with three names. Man, I tell you what. Christy, it was great to see you yesterday. We were at Michelle and Christopher's wedding, and it was good to see you. And because you were there, Christy, Christy gets up at 4.30 in the morning. Did you know that? Yeah. Yuck. Early. Yuck. So she doesn't always get it to the make it to the Made It Through Monday live stream show, but I hope she's out there tonight. Little tequila time for you. It's one of her favorite songs. Hey, pardon me, I don't mean to cry, but I saw those tears falling from your eyes, and I thought you're too pretty not with a smile. I hope you don't mind I sit down for a while. I don't to keep a little time with you, a little salt and a lime will do. Hey, barman, can you bring us to? I want to keep a little time with you Talking it all out Seeing what you're all about I hope you want a tequila Little time with me too Hey, are there any tequila drinkers out there? That's one of my favorite go-tos You like tequila, Brene? She likes that chocolate foo-foo tequila That I brought for her birthday party I drank the real fun We don't have to talk about the past Here's to moving forward and not looking back Later on, we can take it to the dance floor Till then, let's pour a couple more calls I want to keep a little time with you a little salt and a lime will do Hey barman, can you bring us I want to keep a little time with you Talking it all out, seeing what you're all about I hope you want to keep a little time with me too It's good to see you laughing, now 
time, let's just get the dancing. I knew this had to happen. Cause I want to keep a little time with you. Little salt and a lime will do. Hey, barman, can you bring us to? I want to keep a little time with you. Talking it all out, seeing what you're all about. I hope you want us to keep a little time with me, too. I don't know if Christy's out there, we'll look for her, but Christy, thank you for joining us tonight, even if you're watching on the replay. I hope you want us to keep a little time with me, too. That is one of my favorite songs. I need to sing that one more often. Whenever I see Christy, I think of it. But hey, guys, welcome to the John Stevens Made It Through Monday live stream. Whether you're watching this live right now or whether you're watching on the replay, we invite you to say hi. Join the chat. Jump in there and say hi to somebody. Let us know if you're watching the first time. Make sure you're checked in. Make sure you're sharing. And I look up there at the like buttons. We don't have a bunch of likes yet. Can you guys make sure and smash the like and love button up there? Sometimes you got to back out of the video to do that. Not just send me an emoji while it's going. You know, don't you have to back out to do that, Brene? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. But yeah, we get them likes and loves moving. Let's look at the chat real quick. I see the salt gals in there. Carla Moore's out there, but. Let's go way back to the beginning real, real quick and say hi. Pete Arkmo is the first one. And Connie, hey, Connie, looky there. Connie, she said last week they had trouble commenting on, on YouTube. But Connie, you made it out there. Thank you for saying hi. All you YouTubers, we appreciate you. Let us know where you're watching from out there. Make sure and check in and share on YouTube too. There's Mr. Westerfield said hi, John. Tammy Tony says Dean and I are here. Chris Smith, good to see you. Dean says, I made it, or uh, Chris says, I made it through my Monday. Let's do the show. Sounds good. Orpha's joining us from up in South Haven, Michigan. Orpha, look at that. Orpha's doing the drill. She's saying hi, and she's checking in. Nice job up there, Orpha. We appreciate that. Brian Mills says, hello. Donna Davis is with us. Let me see. There's my mama. She, I love this one. She's, she's directing this all to you. My mama says, hello, Monday night friends. That's your cue to go say hi to my mama, all right? My mama, Janet Stevens, out there. So make sure and say hi to her. Kathy Van Cleve, good to see you. Good to see you guys out there. Peg Hex joined us. Vicki Land, Mindy. Uh, Clayton Harrison's out there looking for some other new. Valerie, your cousin out there. Valerie is in the house. Bob Cruz. Of course, Julie showed. I got a little bone to pick with Julie. I'm going to bring it up on the check-ins. You won't believe what she wrote on the check-ins. I got it. I got the evidence. I'm going to share it with you guys. You want to stick around for that? Julie don't even know what she, she, I bet she does know. I bet she does know. Tammy, Tony, we said hi to her and Dina out there. Let me see if there's VTR. We got a good picture of you, VTR, this week on our show picks. The Salt Gals out there. Bob Fetro's Yeah, we're going to celebrate and sing happy birthday to Bob after a bit. He had a birthday last week. I'm catching up, getting all the way through this. Vicki Land is joined. has got a picture of you, pretty picture of you and Mark out there to share after bed. Vicki DJ's joined us. I'm trying to hustle through here, guys. The Salt Gal out in Virginia. Cheryl Collins and Don Brown have joined us. Thank you, Becky Pettit, down the street. Hi, Becky. I, whenever I see Becky, what's her name? Down the street, Becky. That's all I know. That's all I know, down the street, Becky. We love having her. She's always multi. Hey, there's Budakai out there. LJ, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Kara McGill's joining us from Rochdale. All right, I better get better get singing. I, Becky Boggs, I'm, I'm going through here real quick. If I missed you, I apologize. Just want to let you guys know, I appreciate you checking in, watching the show. I'll come back to the chat here in just a bit. Let's get on to the next song. And it says, Cape on first fret. Here's a song that I don't do enough in my live shows, Brad. You know, everybody's up dancing, doing the thing. I don't get a chance to sing this a little town. I'm going to dedicate this song to the Salt Gal out in Saltville, Virginia. And uh, last week, uh, her check-in, when we go through the out-of-state check, you'll see what I mean. Salt Gal, I, I saw what you were doing. I saw what you were doing, but I know it was one of those silent requests too, all right? <laughs> this Little Town from the Browns Wonder Album. In this little town. There's a few grade school friends still around. Miles of memories I still travel down. Hi, Brenda. I'm out on cruise. She give me a wave. <laughs> this little town. This little 
this little town. I learned to drive and once I almost drowned Until Billy Ward one last time went diving down And he pulled me out of a pond in this little town This little town, when I was 17, I was captain of my high school football team. In this little town, on graduation day, all my friends rode out to chase my dreams and make their way. But I knew deep down, I'd always hang around. This little town. This little town. I said I do to the prettiest girl around. Then I broke her heart and watched our love go south. Last day I ever saw her was at the old courthouse. This little town. I've bought my shares of beers in too many rounds. I watch my pride and money all run out. I lost them both somehow right here in this little town. In this little town, I spent a night in jail. Driving drunk, and running wild, and raising hell. In this little town, I had to admit I was wrong. I learned falling on your knees is what makes you strong. I couldn't figure it out till I asked God to show me how. Every Sunday you can find me now On an inside pew, three or four rows down And I'm always singing real loud Right here in this little town in This little town Someday they'll bury me here in the ground Friends and family, they'll come from miles around and Watch them lay me down Right here in this little town In this little town God had a plan for me Oh, I wonder why it took so long for me to see In this little town I put up a fight I wasted so many years But I finally got it right He turned my life around My soul went from lost to found In this little town In this little town There's a few great school friends still around Miles of memories I still travel down You know I sure been a lot of places right here in this little town in this little town Thank you, thank you. I told you my dilemma. I got to do that like third verse. It's like, how am I going to end this song? And then it, just like from heaven, like it always does, it landed. Sure have been a lot of places in this whole time. Wrapped up the whole song. Thank you, guys. I know a lot of you, uh, you guys really enjoy that song, and I should do it more often in my live shows. It's kind of one of those down songs. 
Maybe that's a chance for when Dance and Larry needs a break. I can play that song. I got pictures of Dance and Larry dancing with the younger generation tonight we're going to be sharing with you here. Hey, before we get to the show picks later on and let you know where I'm going to be, let's toss it up to Mulberry, to Julie. Julie, what's going on up in Mulberry? Hi everybody, good to see you. Hope everyone had a great Monday. Just want to remind everybody to make sure you check out John's merch page and make see your made it through Monday sweatshirts, t-shirts out there. Make sure you order yourself one. I love mine. Also remember to share the video, like it, love it. Make sure we get all our numbers up on Facebook this week. And also, next week is the last Monday before Halloween. Is anybody going to dress up? Taking any trick-or-treaters out? You never know what happened in the co-producer studio. So make sure you check in next Monday. Everybody have a good night and a safe week. And I will throw it back to John. Hey, thanks for that, Julie. She's going to go out. She, I thought she I thought she was going to duet with me. Are you duetting with me tonight? Okay, that'll be fun. We'll have to do that one of these days. All right. We said hi to Julie. Hey, I got a song. I got a song for Barbara Wilson. Barbara, have you seen Barbara in the chat tonight? Anybody, Julie or, or uh, Brene? I sent her a message. But she's, she's out in California. She is a big Willie Nelson fan. So let me get back out of detuning here. Get back where I belong. We're going to sing a Willie Nelson classic. I have never sang this song before. And when I get done, don't say it. We can tell. That's not what you're supposed to say. Boy, that capo really moved things to get into. All right. Remember this song? I got to use my cheat sheet down here a little bit, all right? On me, why not take all of me? Can't you see I'm no good without you? Take my arms, I wanna lose them. Take my lips, I'll never use them. Your goodbye, left me with eyes that cry. Now I know I'm no good without you You took the part that once was my heart So why not take all of me? Almost feel like I need a kazoo here Do 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 Such a pretty melody, isn't it? Oh, on me Why not take all of me? Can't you see I'm no good without you Take my arms I want to lose them Take my lips, I'll never use them Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry And I know that I'm no good without you You took the part that once was my heart So why not take all of me? took the part that once was my heart so why not take all of me you know I don't know I don't know for some reason I'll have to ask my mama has anybody seen my mama in the chat I think I did 
Hey, Mom, did Aunt Billy used to play that song? It just reminds me of one of them old kind of 50s and 60s style songs that she might have sang. But, oh, that song just brings back memories to me. Makes me think of my Aunt Billy. That's who I, she was my great Aunt Billy. And she was great for a lot of reasons, but she was my great Aunt Billy. And uh, I sat at her feet for hours watching her strum the guitar. And that's where I learned to play, watching her. By the time I was 12, I was playing right along with her, Brene. And a pretty cool Christmas. Pretty cool Christmas. Let's see where we're at in the show. We said hi to Julie. Tell you what, Barbara Wilson, I don't know if he's all seen Barbara Wilson out there, but if you do say hi to her, she's on the left coast out in California. But uh, that she's a big Willie Nelson fan. So, Barbara, there you go. Hey, it's that time of the show where we recognize last week's virtual tipper. Pull it up there, drum roll, please. Last week's virtual tipper was, there, there she is. She's sitting in the control booth up there in uh, Mulberry. It was Julie Schultz. Corey. She tipped me $10 using her Venmo. Julie, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And uh, you guys can be just like Julie if you like. There's all types of virtual tip options out there. If you want to say thank you with a virtual tip, we have Venmo. We have PayPal. And uh, we have Cash App. Julie's got them running right there. Julie, thank you so much for your support each and every week. I still got a bone to pick with you, and I'm going to bring it up. Should I? Br I'm going to bring it up before the check ends. Before the check ends. Okay. She look at. She knows what she's done. You know what you did, don't you? Do you know what you did? Oh, she's going. I don't have a clue. All right. <laughs> anyway, as you can see there, there's even a virtual tip at the John Stevens Jr. Music.com website if you'd like to leave a, a tip. And if you if you don't like to do the credit card thing. Just write a check out. All of the information will be in the description of this video, so don't feel like you have to write it down right now. But if you would like to say thank you, it's very much appreciated. And uh, if you would like to say tip, you would, or say thank you with a five or ten dollar tip, that's great. If you want to use a hundred dollar tip, that's cool too. Hey, y'all, uh, you guys that hit my magic tip, you those of you that come to my shows, you guys are very, very generous. So I thank each and every one of you who have ever hit my virtual tip jar jar those of you who hit my magic tip jar at my shows and thank you to each and every one of you who tune in every monday night for the john stevens made it through monday live stream show all right we got that covered time for another original song Brene. i dug this one oh i got it up here already now what key do i do this in it says key of c all right Brene, have you ever had like a like a a lust hate with somebody <laughs> Not a love hate, yeah. Somebody you could you could get along romantically with, but just yes. you've had that's yeah. you've had that way. Yes. Well, this I'm gonna dedicate this song to Brene then tonight. <laughs> I mean, I wrote it, but I just used my imagination when I wrote it. But it's a song. <laughs> it's a song called "My Mom's in Here." Be good. I, I ask questions. You know, we should have like an after show, like paid, because I got so much dirt on Brene, I could share with her. We should charge for that. All right. I don't have much dirt. Probably couldn't charge much, but somebody would pay for it. Anyway, it's a song called We Can't Get Along. We decided we were better off going our separate ways. Ain't it funny how I'm meant to be together always finds its place Here we are again laying skin to skin Two hearts full of desire I thought we were through But babe I'm asking you What do we do with this fire? We can't get along But we sure can get it on In the kitchen or the shower Making love for hours in the morning and no night long It feels like it used to be When I'm holding you next to me We got a weakness for each other Still ain't gone We can't get along We sure can get it on You guys ever had a relationship like that? Who knows? Renee just keeps smiling though We don't hate each other, but we both kind of need our space. We see the world a little different, we're both set in our ways. 
but snuggled up together, you make it even better with the dance of your playful kiss. Underneath the covers, all the pleasures we discover are something we both still miss. But we can't get along, but we sure can get it on. In the kitchen or the shower, making love for hours every morning and all night long. Feels like it used to be, but I'm holding you next to me. We got a weakness for each other, still ain't gone. We can't get along, we sure can get it on. Kiss me one more time, I'll get my things and go. It's the saddest and happy party of us, cause we both know we can't get along, but we sure can get it on. In the kitchen or the shower, making love for hours every morning and all night long. Feels like it used to be when I'm holding you next to me. Got a weakness for each other, still ain't gone. No, we can't get along, but we sure can get it up. Yeah, we sure can get along. I think Brene's blushing over here. She said, turn the fan up, Brenda. Turn the fan up. Have you guys ever had a relationship like that? Now, you married people don't need to be answering this question, all right? If you're married, you're, you're not eligible to answer that question. But let's go back in the chat and see who's out there. David Holman's joining us from Wyoming out there. Thank you, David. Man, I am way behind on the chat saying hi to you guys. Look at all that. You guys, thank you very much. I want to let you know each and every comment that you guys put out there, even if it's not to me, I read them and I try to acknowledge them. And if you ask me a question and you say, hi, John, I reply right to each and every one. So if you got questions for me, you got special requests out there, make sure and write them down. And I read each and every comment. And I appreciate y'all for coming out and sharing each and every one. So there's my friend Lena. Look at there. I love she 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 checked in last week and this week listening from my kitchen drinking a cup of hot tea out of my main at the Monday. How about that? Man, I need to get that plaster. Thank you, Lena. I appreciate that. Christy Weathington Todd's still out there. I hope you got to hear Little uh, tequila, little time. Hi, Dina. Dina's in the house out there. Thank you for joining us, Dina. Good to see you up in Lafayette. Hey, I want to let you know that Dina's a Lafayette friend. I'm going to be up at the uh, the Eagles in Lafayette the night before Thanksgiving, that Wednesday. So if you get free, come on out and say hi. I'm sure it'll be an early show. But Dina, good to see you in the chat tonight and hope to see you in Lafayette. There's Christy we saw yesterday. Mr. Mills. Michelle Cooney. Hi, Michelle. Classmate in the house. Good to see you out there. Elaine's out there. Sharon, Mindy, Aunt Teresa's joined us. What'd she say? Eric Gross, are you my... That's... No, not, not. Aunt Teresa, are you asking random strangers in the chat if they're your cousin? <laughs> hey, Aunt Teresa. She ain't afraid to ask a question, that's for sure. Looky there. There's... Ba hey, Bad Betty. Inquiring minds want to know... How are you getting along? And will we, the big question is, will we see you Friday night at Billy O'Neill's in Indianapolis? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to see you out there. Hope you're feeling better and your rehab's coming together really good. There's Mindy and Barbara Mitchell joined us. I'm looking up. There's my mama looking for names. I haven't called on out there. We said hi to Lane. Kim and Haji up in Frankfurt. Good to see you. Brittany. Brittany Lee Spear. Did you know Brittany Spears? It's not Spears, but Brittany Spears in my chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. VTR is in the house, Christy. Rhonda, all the way. I love that Rhonda's check. She's on the road. Checking from the road, driving home to Newburgh. And Rhonda, good to see us. My Southern Indiana friend, good to see you. Pizza, I said hi. And Shelby, where? There's my friend Shelby. Shelby, where have you been? I've been missing you, girl. All right, I've been saying hi to Peg Heck Barton. I like to say hi to y'all, but we got to get this show going. We got to get this show going. Song number five. This song... This song was playing on like the jukebox before my private party on Saturday night. And I knew I was in, I pulled up there and there was like, I don't know how many people were there. Then it's, 
I was between 70, 75 and 100 plus. It was a big crowd. And they were all 20 something. And I thought, oh no, who got me into this? But they, when I was setting up and they played this song, the Shenandoah song, two, and the whole room was singing, I knew I was in the right place. We did the 90s country lane, some old classic country songs all night long. It was a great, great night. I had a great time. So let's keep on a second, Fred, here. And uh, love this song, and I'm glad that they knew it. We're going to share some pictures and even a video of them singing here a little bit. You don't want to miss that. Stick around, all right? Remember this song? I brought flowers to your door last night, yeah. I did you wrong, and I want to make it right, yeah. You say I ain't welcome here I know it ought to be perfectly clear I can't help but wonder what it might be like If I had two dozen roses And an old bottle of wine If I really could have hung the moon Would it change your mind? If I could cry a little harder And get a little less sleep at night If I had two dozen roses Would it change your mind? Oh, I must have been back then Lose something that you can't have again again I've done all I know to do And second guess my every move I can't help but wonder how it might have been if I had two dozen roses and an old bottle of wine, if I really could have hung the moon, would it change your mind? If I could cry a little harder and get a little less sleep at night, if I had two dozen roses, would it change your mind? Baby, would it change your mind? Oh, baby, would it change your mind? They sang that song so well that that was part of my finale. They, I got tipped pretty well. So you know how it happens? They twist my arm and stayed a little bit longer. And, oh, it was so much fun. And, you know, after I sang the perfect country western song, you know, the green stuff starts playing. So I had to do a couple more. And since they sang that so well, that was our finale of the night. But what a fun night over in Crawford. You know, I'll say we'll share a few pics in a video with you here after a bit. Hey, let's look. We ask you guys, whether you're watching this on the replay or if you happen to be watching this live on YouTube or Facebook, we ask that you would do as a favor. It helps me out tremendously if you will check in. Let me know what city and state you're walking, watching from. If you're from Indiana, you don't have to put the state. But give me a specific city and, and tell me what you're doing. I'm going to do this as long as right now I'm about 1,400 characters writing down all your crazy little, little check-ins out there, Indiana friends. But until we get to 2,000, then I might have to hire out some help to get to all that. But uh, anyway, if you write down what city that you've checked in from, I will add you to the list of check-ins. Hey, Julie, we had no international check-ins, but let's see who checked in from out of state last week to join us on. The, we have people watching this all over the country, but uh, people that took time to check in last week, Sherry Chastain checked in from Sebring, Florida. Cindy Adamson says, Hi, a little late from Chicago, Illinois. Cindy, we're glad whenever you can join us. Thank you for checking in. David Holman says, hi, everyone, from Rock Springs, Wyoming. Everybody say hi to David Holman out there. 
if you see them in the chat. This, check this out. The Salt Girl says, it's very cold in this little town in Saltville, Virginia. See, I got you. I knew what you were doing there. Bev Riddle, Riddle, or Riddle from Uvalde, Texas checked in. Thank you from all of our out-of-state checker inners. That's my word for the show, checker inners. I'm going to ask. Here, let's see if it'll work. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Is checker inners a word? Here's what I found. Oh, see, it's on the web. It has to be. I didn't look at the results, but you guys try that at home. Checker enters. Thank you to all the checker enters out there. Make sure and say hi to them out there. These were all the ones that checked in from out of the state last week. Hey, Julie, before we pull up the in state, we got two sections in state. Do you want Julie put Brenda? We got Brenda in here doing the bantering with Brene. Do you know what she put? I don't know. She, I, I, I put it down. She goes, checking in from the producer's chair in Mulberry. Not, not the co-producer. I've lost control of my show. I've now she is she has self elevated herself to the producer. Next thing I know, I'm going to be on the other side, and she's going to be playing guitar doing my shows out there. So anyway, we're going to pull up, and you'll see it. You'll see it because I wrote it down exactly the way she wrote it. All right. So Julie, run. <laughs> she's in there, like going, "Oh my gosh, it's true." So. For those of you who checked in last week, let's see what we can find out from Julie. Share from C. Valence. Somebody says, hi, John. See, I know who all these are, right, Kara? Hi, John from Rochdale. Hello from the Mulberry. There it is, Mulberry producer chair. Producer chair. Can you believe that? <laughs> hi, John from 900 East. We know that's our friend, Peg East Lafayette. Thank you. Hello, John Boyd from my home in Newburgh. Well, we already said hi to Rhonda once. I'm going to quit telling these people out there their names. Checking in from the west side of Indianapolis with my lovely wife in the Farley neighborhood. You all know who that is. Hello, John from the Valley in French Lick. Hello, Bob Cruz. Good to see you out there. Someone checked in from Greenwood. Somebody else just wrote Plato Lebanon check in. That's great. In the kitchen in New Ross, made chili tonight. That sounds good, Kathy. That sounds really good. In my room in Frankfurt. That's Kim and Haji up there. Thank you guys for checking in and joining us. Checking in from Anderson in the bedroom resting. That's Chris. He needs to rest a little bit. Watching from the patio on the west side of Indianapolis. Now, I got a lot of check-ins from the west side, so I don't remember who exactly is who, but I got an idea. Good evening. Made it through Monday, listeners. I love that one from the patio on the west side of Indianapolis. And that's Mr. Gary Fig. I remember that. Watching Hello Made It Through Monday, friends. I love that. Him and my mom had the same one. Appreciate that. Hello from Avon, shared on Facebook. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for sharing. Hello from Wanamaker. Hi, Christine. Watching from our living room in the farly west side of Indianapolis. Back to reality, but it's a darn good reality. Well, maybe you didn't drink too much tequila. I don't think she made it back alive. Still wanted to see the worm. Still wanted to see the worm. Here's our buddy, Mr. Westfield, checking in from the big city near east side in Indy. Hi, everyone, from my couch with my wife and her recliner. That's the birthday boy, Bob Fetro out there. We're going to sing happy birthday to Bob, who had a birthday last week. In my recliner, and wife in the recliner between Mulberry and Dayton, Patty Dawkins, New Palestine. So look what she put. I'm the flirt. Patsy, Patsy, is, Patsy is my flirt out there. So, uh, Julie, before we go any further, you got anything to say about the uh, producer comment? Be good. Be good. I have, I have one. She said be good. She has the button. She she could end it. She could end it. Then I'll take her out of the co-producer chair. But she does. She has control to shut me down tonight. Is she but she have actually. You're not logged in, so I don't Yeah, see that see the giveaway the day I gone passwords that can control my show. <laughs> Next thing you know, Brene's going to be checking in as executive producer or something over here, too. I'm, I'm losing control of the show. All right. Let's uh, go on to our second set of checker enters. Oh, you started before I was ready. Can we start again? I missed the beginning. Yeah. Okay, get my eyes back. There they go. Thank you. Here's a day, here a day late and a dollar short from my front porch in Crawfordsville. We know that's Miss Becky out there. Someone checked in from Noblesville. Thank you, Noblesville, Hamilton County friends. Listening to the, I love this one, listening to the replay. We love you replayers out there letting us know. Pulling weeds in Thorntown. Thank you, BTR. Shared from Crawfordsville. Shared, or checking in from my recliner in Lemon. Watching, that's Becky. She's always multitasking. That's Becky down the street. Thank you, Becky. Good evening from Seaville. Someone says, hi, John, and everyone from Rockville. I, I bet that's Mary. 
Checking in from Bird's Eye. My fraternity brother and his lovely wife shared from Crawfordsville. Drinking hot tea I made. That's Miss Lena. That's Miss Lena. Indianapolis West Side watching on my study PC in the living room of my apartment flat here in Crawfordsville. Michael Stevens, thank you for that chat. Julie, thanks for letting them run through. I appreciate it. We appreciate you guys taking your time out there and putting your uh, uh, specific, you, those of you from Indiana, putting a specific check it out there what you're doing and things and like i said until we get to be about 2000 we'll keep running for every show out there let's get on to the next song i think we got everybody done it says a capo on the first fret i wrote this song with my good buddy mr stan webb i want you to stick around because after this song we're going to be sharing show picks got a video for you from some of my uh, one of my saturday night adventures and uh a song i wrote uh with stan webb and I remember just both of us just laughing at this song because it was just, I kind of had the idea and we just got started with it and uh, just uh, talking about people that we knew were rascals. Couldn't be talking about ourselves, Brenda. It's a song called The Habitual Prodigal Son. You remember that story in the Bible, the prodigal son, you know, ran away? Well, every now and then there's habitual prodigal sons, just can't ever get it right. You know, they try, they try, but... Uh, we had a good time laughing at them. Probably a little bit of us in this song, to be honest with you. But uh, let's see if I can remember the words of this. I got it. Let me see here. I got them down here in case I need it, but I think I know them. It's Sunday morning, been a long time coming. He's decided it's decision day. One more time, he's headed back to the altar. Let him pray sins away. Way, way. He's been a boozer and a gambler and a backsliding rambler. Mama's praying this conversion's gonna take. Oh, but daddy's in the back bumbling under his breath. That boy ain't ever gonna change cause he's a habitual prodigal son and he's coming back home today. He knows the light and he knows the truth, but the black and white always turns gray. He only gets so many chances to change, and he's used his up in space. He's just a habitual prodigal son, and he's coming back home today. When he turned 18, he grew some horns with his wings. He's lived for Jesus and he's lived for sin. But today he's confessing his latest transgressions. He's coming on for good again. He means it, Brenda. Again, again. All the angels are singing hallelujah, Jesus, as the laying on the hands begins. But the down in hell or betting two to one that boy will be back with us again cause he's the habitual prodigal son and he's coming back home today he's seen the light and he knows the truth but the black and white always turn gray you only get so many chances to change and he's used his up in space he's just a habitual Prodigal son, and he's coming back home today. Yep, he's the habitual prodigal son, and he's coming back home today. Wrote that song with Mr. Stan Webb. Like I said, we we all know a little a couple habitual prodigal sons. Like I got I got a little habitual prodigal son in me, Brenda. You do. I do. I do. Yep. But it's all good. It's all. It's all good. I was going to say, I got that idea from reading a novel one time, but now nah, probably a little bit of me in there. Probably a little bit of me. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Webb, listening up in heaven tonight. He was a little bit of a habitual prodigal son too, but I, I'm sure he's going to be up there with Mr. Jesus. We're going to sing a song about another, I won't call him habitual prodigal son, but Billy Boy Spidell. We're going to sing a song off my latest album, uh, Garage Sale, before we get out of here. And we got some Pearl Jam coming up. John Stevens Jr. going to sing some Pearl Jam for you tonight. So you want to stick around. Before we do that, though, don't go anywhere because we're going to show you some show picks. 
from last week's show. So we started out Thursday night. Uh, let me see if I can pull these up. There I am. We start out Thursday night at the locale in uh, Brownsburg. All right. Well, actually, we did Monday night show, and then Thursday night we were at the locale. Look at there. There's Mark and Vicky. Mark's a classmate of mine. Uh, graduated back in 1991, and we went to school together, played football and things together. 78. Yeah, he's, he's seen, not allowed, not allowed. They take that title and they run with it. They were up. Vicky was a little bit behind us, but good to see you guys at the show. And there they are. There's the crew. There's there's Julie and there's the producer <clears throat> of the show. <laughs> I'm giving you heart. I won't say any more, Julie. I won't say. It. There's there's Julie and Pete. There's Nadine. Nadine come up on stage and she surprised me. She goes, "I'm gonna sing harmony." I said, "Okay." She come up and sing. And there's David, her husband. There, Mindy's mom and dad. And there I am in the middle. Besides Mindy, Miss Tequila Drinker. There's DJ and there's Dancing Larry and Connie. Love you guys. Thank you all for the support. You guys need you guys need to get out to the local. That is one of my favorite rooms to play. And uh, we always have a great time. And look at here. Here is the, the VP. I couldn't get her right. The Village Park Posse right there. There's Viv. She's the queen right up the redhead right on the front row. There's Carol. There is Sharon. And they're saying, you know how I remember Sharon's name? Because I, I, Sharon doesn't come all the time. But it's like, how am I? And I, and I said, Ozzy Osbourne. And they said, what? Yeah, his wife's name's Sharon. So that's how I remember Sharon. So whenever I look at Sharon, I think, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzie. What's her name? Ozzy Osbourne. It comes to me. Hey, whatever works, right? But good to see the Village Park Posse in the house. And then who we got here? Who we got? Oh, there's, there's Anthony and Lisa. Somebody said they were celebrating an anniversary not too long ago, too. Congratulations. Thank you guys for coming out to the John Stevens uh, Jr. show on Thursday night last week at the local. We appreciate having you. And here's here's some of my faves. I always take pictures of Sarah and Larry and Loretta because they're in that booth. I said, I won't get in a picture with them this time. I want to be in there beside Sarah. Mm -hmm. So I got a picture with Sarah. Thank you, Sarah and Larry and Loretta. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Every time we're at the local virtue, and then I got me a selfie with VTR. I, I took Vicky took the picture of the whole group, and I said, "Well, you took the picture, me and you get a selfie." Then so Vicky, thanks for the pic. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking it. Now, you all know if you've been to my shows, you've seen Dance and Larry out there. He's capable of a lot of things, and dancing is one of them. He he continues to improve his game. He was getting lessons on the dance floor. Did you see this, Brene? Check it out. There's dancing Larry. I don't. I know the little girl on the ride. Her name is Indiana. And there's Connie out there. But Larry's trying to get down. Larry, you gotta get a little lower. Bend your knees or something. Get a little, little bit. He was down there with him at one time. But dancing Larry breaking a move on the dance floor at the local. You never know what you'll see. This this is kind of like being at Applebee's. It's kind of in the bar area, but it's with the fence, so they're all legal there. So it's cool. We we get kids dancing. Sometimes we get all kinds of people dancing. Always a good time at the locale. And uh, one more picture from that. One more picture from that. And it uh, it is uh, Danny and Samantha. Oh, Samantha, I forgot. I always forget your husband's name. He's going to get mad at me. He's bigger than I am. But Samantha and her husband and her daddy, Danny Roseman. Thank you guys for coming out. Good to see you Thursday night. Now, I didn't have a show Friday, but I got invited over to Pam and Tony Richardson to celebrate Tony's birthday. Brene, you and Brenda were there actually, so you got invited too. So we we did some singing and sang some songs, and so that was my Friday night. And uh, so Pam, thank you for inviting me to surprise Tony. That was a great evening. Then Saturday, Saturday, I like I told you, I went to a party that I've done some things for Kyle Blades and things in the past, and they've all been adult parties. When I turn in his drive, and his driveway is probably an eighth of a mile. There were cars parked like horizontal from the road all the way up to the house. Get up, and then there's nothing but tents. I mean, I, I bet there was 50 tents wow. or more. They were having a big camp out. Nobody was driving, confiscated the keys. So it was a great little party. But it was all a bunch of 20-something. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is going to be a tough night. You know, they knew all the 90s country. They knew it. I'm going to show you what all they knew. But... Um, 
Here's a little picture that was a little bit blurry out there, but they they sang all night long every song, every song. It was I and the unfortunate part, I didn't play any of mine because they were I didn't play any of mine. They probably wouldn't have sang because they didn't know them. But but anyway, that that was the crowd. They were up on their feet in my face all night long. It was great. It was great. And a couple girls. There was Ava and I forget what are they. I want to say Avery. I can't remember a couple A's. And then we had some hay bale dancers. I mean, the girls were up on stage. Country girl, you know what I mean? They were, they were doing it. Good entertainment for me that night, that's for sure. Hey, and I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to share a video and just show you how much they were. This is just an example of what they were doing. Let me see if I can find this video. Okay. They were up singing to every song, and, of course, they know a little bit of Dixieland to lie. Let's see how they did here. Oh, Benny, I don't want to add it. I want to play the one above it. There we go. Let's try this. You're my Dixie Was that pretty cool? They that's the way they sang all night long. It was it was a blur of the picture. It was just so much fun, and a very engaging crowd. But I was just so surprised that they knew so many country songs. We, and we sang some new country, and we sang you know some Morgan Wallen and the little uh, Zach Bryan and things. But man, they knew that '90s country line. So had a great time. Kyle Blades and Olivia, thank you for having me over there on uh, Saturday night over in Crawfordsville. We had a big time. All right, I think it's time. Oh, we got to let you know where I'm going to be this week. Where am I going? And I've got a little update to this too. So let's take a look here. Of course, tonight we're doing the Made It Through Monday live stream show, which we do each and every Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then Thursday night, of course, Wednesday, I'll be going down to French Lick. And then Thursday, I have a show at JR's Bar in Jasper. Friday night, I had one that snuck up on us here about 10 days ago. We're going to be at Billy O'Neill's on the west side of Indianapolis. And then Saturday night, I have a private party with my friend Robin Robinson and, and the Southside crew. It's gonna be, a, gonna be a fun night uh, on the south side of Indianapolis. I, and I said, is this gonna be a Halloween party? She goes, I just left up. If you wanna dress up for Halloween, you can't. You're all invited. No, you're not invited. I can't tell you it's a private party. But uh, I, was gonna, I can tell you you're invited if you can figure out where it is. I won't tell you, but if you can figure out where it is, tell them you're with the band. Tell them you're with the band. But I do have one update after Saturday's show. Of course, next Monday, we'll be back here doing this. Wednesday night, November the 1st, I'm going to be doing a show over at the Plainfield Eagles. Just did that today. So it'll be a 7 to 9 o'clock show. So on Wednesday, November the 1st, put that in the bag. I haven't even got it updated on the website yet, but we will be doing that. Hey, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for a little bit of um, Pearl Jam? Sure. You are Okay, well, I, I got to get the words up here. Because, do you know what song I'm going to sing? Huh? You don't? All right, all right, good. Well, let me get my handy dandy duct tape. Well, actually, it's my handy dandy scotch, scotch tape. tape. So, well, we, well, I did that. Well, that's not going to, that's not going to work there. What happened to my, well, Defective. Let's try it again with a kiss. All right. Let's do this. That'll work. All right. Now, what key does it say I play this in? Do you know what key I played in? Huh? No drop D. No drop D. We did this little town of drop D. We came on the first fret. We're going to do in the key of C. C. If you know the words, you have to sing along with me. You ready? took her away from me She's gone to heaven so I got to be good so I can see my baby when I leave this world We were out on a date in my dad 
daddy's car We hadn't driven very far There on the road, straight up ahead A car was stalled, the engine was dead I couldn't stop, so I swerved to the right I'll never forget the sound that night the Screaming tires, the busting glass Painful scream that I heard last. Where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I got to be good so I can see my baby when I leave this world. When I woke up, the rain was pouring down. Hold me, darling, just a little while. I held her close, kissed her, our last kiss. I found the love I knew I would miss. But now she's gone, even though I hold her tight. Lost my love, my life, that night. Where, where can my baby be? Lord took her away from me She's gone to heaven so I got to be good So I can see my baby when I leave this world One more time for her name Where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me She's gone to heaven so I got to be good my baby when I leave this world Awesome. Do you like that song? That song. What I is it about? Ever. I vaguely remember that song, but every time I see somebody cover that song, everybody, and you were singing all the words. How do you know all the words of that song? I remember it. It used to be on Sweat in the Oldies. Oh, sweating to the oldies with Richard Simmons. No wonder I don't know it. <laughs> I just love that era of music. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, I appreciate it. Before we go any farther, it's that time in the show. It's that time in the show where we're going to sing happy birthday to a few friends. And Julie, if you can find it in the banners for me, you've got it pulled up. Well, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. Last week... On Friday, of course, I told you I went over to the sheriff's house and, and uh, we celebrated Tony's birthday with some of his friends and family and sang a few songs. And him and Bob Fitro was celebrating their birthday on Friday, October the 20th last week. So congratulations to you guys. And I don't know if she's in there, Alicia Herrick. She, she's Dewana's cousin, I believe. I, I, I wished her a happy birthday on Facebook, and I said, I'm going to add her name because she's been known to jump in the chat on Monday nights now and then. So let's sing happy birthday, everybody, to Tony, Bob, and Alicia out there, and make sure and tell them happy birthday in the chat. That would be fantastic. Y'all ready? Let's sing happy birthday to them. Oh, get away there, John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Tony and Bob, and Alicia too. Happy birthday to you. Make sure to wish Tony and Bob and Alicia a happy birthday in the chat. We do appreciate you. Out there, hey, before we do our last song, let's look in the chat one more time, see what's going on. I haven't been back to see you guys for a little bit. You guys have been busy. Friend, Brenda Davis put HBD in. She's... She's like uh, acronym. So I'm gonna have to ask Sarah if checker in her and acronym <laughs> is a words. I'm creating my own vocab during the Matthew Money live stream. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Thanks, little helper. <laughs> Steve McClure, good. Uh, we're gonna 
I'm we're gonna. Pull that one. I'm gonna see if I can pull that up some of these days. Thanks, <laughs> little helper. <laughs> Glad to do it. <laughs> Larry Davis, good to see you, Kim and hi, Kathy. I think I've said hi to most of you out there. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Donnie Duvall. Hey, Donnie, looky there. Donnie said, maybe we'll see you in Jasper. He might be down visiting the Studers down in Birdseye. Donnie, hope it works out. Good to see you out there in the chat tonight. Eagle Park Posse. That's right. The EPP. There you go. Recognize them out there, Mindy. Guys, I think, I think I've said hi to most of you out there. If I missed you, you know what? I will be back when this show's over this week, to say hi to you, to answer your questions, if you have something special. And if you have some songs that you want me to sing, John Stevens Jr. songs, put them in the chat. If you have some cover songs, let me know. Put them in the chat because each and every week I sing four of each, four of my own and four covers. Even if you're on the replay, go ahead and throw that in. We have a lot of people on the replay this week jumping in the chat and checking in and saying hi. So thank you all for coming out. We got one more song. And I think I know the words of my own song, but I got the words here just in case because it's been a map. This is one of those songs that I've never written a recitation. Do you know what a recitation is? It's not a song you sing. It's you kind of speak it. It's got a little. It's got a little singing part in the chorus. But I just picked up my guitar one day and started playing this song. And you know what? I'll be darned. I didn't write the key down. What do you think? You want to pick one, Brenda? Double drop down D. <laughs> Let's C. D. Well, C would be in the middle. Oh, every time. I think I can do it D. We're going to do it in the key D. No drop down. But thank, thank you for the suggestion. This is a song about my buddy, Billy Boy Spidell. We, we like to call him one of those habitual prodigal sons, too. Just like all of us. We're all sinners. We all fall short. And, uh, uh, but Billy Boy got it right, and he's not with us anymore. We had some good memories together as friends, and I remember that I, I just was playing my guitar, and the, and the, and the first line's kind of coming, then I got to thinking, man, I remember when I went to Nashville, and we had a garage sale, and he got an actual keg at the garage sale. There was a keg at my garage sale, or at his garage sale, to help raise money for me to move to Nashville when I was young. We'll tell you all about the song. So this is my little, uh, my salute to my good friend who's no longer with us, watching up in heaven, Mr. Billy Boy Spidell. A little song called Garage Sale. The Billy Boy and I sure made a lot of noise back in our day. We were young, dumb, full of crazy. We were fools. I could tell you some stories that make your mama blush. And even one or two, you wouldn't even believe that were true. I played and sang in the bars. He always worked on my cars. He only charged me beers and a few songs on my guitar. We're just like two brothers singing songs. Couple wanna be country stars. Then I decided I needed to move to Nashville. And I was almost 23 years old. Billy Boy said, I think you're right, Johnny. We both know you need to go. Then he said, You're gonna need a little extra money. To stay and chase your dreams. He said, Why don't we have us a garage sale? I got some stuff you can have and you can sell some of your things. Then Brene, he said, I got this brilliant idea. That kind of scared me if you want to know the truth. He said, It'll be just like a free lemonade stand, even better than a free kissing booth. So when I showed up on Saturday morning, much to my surprise and my delight, there was a pony keg of beer in the corner with a sign that said, drink and shop as long as you'd like. Now every time I see Grout say, I think of you and smile. Didn't make a lot of money that day. Scored extra points for a redneck style. Now you're gone and all your memories 
like a thousand shooting stars I'll never forget our garage sale and the love you gave that's in my heart Oh, Billy Boy would be proud of this song. I know he would. Now, Billy loved the Lord with all his heart. But he had demons just like you and me. He'd stumble and fall and get back up. But there was never a doubt in my mind how much he believed. Well, I can see him up there right now with Jesus, listening and learning more truth. And like he always thought of everyone else first, I bet he's praying for me and you. Now, every time I see a brunch sale, I think of you and smile. You never made a lot of money that day. Scored extra points for a redneck style. Now you're gone and all of these memories are like a thousand shooting stars. I'll never forget our garage sale and the love you gave that's in my heart. I'll never forget our garage sale. And all your love that's in my heart Sure miss you, Billy Oh, thank you And I just saw up there Jenny Moore She goes, look at there, she goes, love Bill Yeah, Billy, Billy Boy was one of a kind He's one of a kind we, we sure miss him Thank you, Jenny, for that out there I appreciate it, guys Well, that does it again Michael Stevens has probably already jumped in there if he's watching from Crawfordville and said, John, we're in overtime, but I don't know if he's going to be with us because I think he told me in the chat last week he'd see you in two weeks. So maybe maybe he's got the night. What's that? Larry Davis said we're in overtime. Oh, Larry Davis is taking my... Thank you, Larry. All right. Thank you for that tip there, Brenda. Hey, you know what time it is? It's time to say thank you, Julie. Thank you for being up there in the <clears throat> co-producer chair. <laughs> if you watch earlier you know what I'm talking about thank you Brenda and Brene for letting me borrow the Davis Dale kitchen right here in Lebanon Indiana and thank you to all of you who hung around with me tonight and those of you that'll be watching on the replay we appreciate you we do this each and every Monday night hope you see you at a John Stevens show real soon down the road Thursday where are we at Jasper Friday Indianapolis Billy O'Neill Saturday private party and then next Wednesday be in the Eagles in Plainfield. All right. I think that's it. Julie, thanks a bunch. It's that time. Turn out the lights. Party's over. They say that all good things must end. Turn out those lights. Party's over. We'll see you down the road next Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll do it all again. Say goodnight, John boy. There it is, right on cue, Julie. Thank you so much, guys. Dinah Kelsey, look at there. She's already saying it. Good night, John. I appreciate you, Dinah. Thank you for joining us. Dinah's watching over there in Crawfordsville. Then we go, oh, but you guys are just filling up a chat. Aunt Teresa's in the house. Oh, look at there. Did you see what Connie put? This is the saddest song. You know why this is the saddest song? Because she knows the night's over. Even at my live show, she starts boo-hooing. Yeah. She'll start crying, wheezing for tissues when I play Turn Out the Lights, the party's over. Hey, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, Connie, we'll have another show to sing to each other, okay? Appreciate you being out there, darling. I appreciate it. Rhonda, thanks for joining us. Vicki Land, good to see you. Don Brown, Mr. Davis keeping track of the clock out there. Thank you. I'm going to let you guys go. I said hi to most of you. Kim and Haji up there. Brenda Davis, thanks for being here. It's because you're in my damn kitchen. Where else am I going to go? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Moore, good to see you out there. All right, guys. Let you go. Steve McClure, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you being out there tonight. All right, guys. See you next Monday. 
maybe Thursday in Jasper. Good night, everybody.